What is up our sexy viewers? Today we are making a video response to Ebo Me's AR-15 giveaway. What he's doing here is him and a bunch of other people got together and they uh, made a huge amazing giveaway. And first off I'd like to thank Ebo Me for giving me this opportunity to win such an amazing package like I have never seen a giveaway this crazy. Now first off I'd like to note that I've never won a YouTube giveaway before, so there's that. And um, why should I win? Firstly I'm young, and I honestly think it's good to get this generation enthused about guns and get them wanting to go out and shoot. I mean, even if you're not hunting, going shooting is the most fun waste of money you could ever do. And not even waste of money, like, yeah, you know, you just know. <clears throat> and secondly, I love guns, but I just can't afford it. Like, I could afford ammo, but the guns themselves, it would probably take me like four paychecks to even get one. <laughs> Like a decent one. I mean, yeah, I could get a cheap old blah one, but who wants their first gun to be blah? And then you have to justify justify keeping that for so long. Um, and then what would I do with the AR? I would go hunting with my friend who's coming in an upcoming video. ka -ching! But it's not going to be there yet. But once it, there, it is there, I will put the link up there. Um, and then I would like to make instructional videos. Tear down, put back together. Um, cleaning how it fires, maybe the accessories that come with it. Uh, I know I know Ebo me put a ton of time and effort into this gun. I've seen he has all sorts of videos on him putting it together. So I can tell that he's really, uh, really wants this to go to a good home. And then I also would like to use it to praise the great name of Ebo me. I recently bought a uh, recoil magazine and it came with this wonderful little devil here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a zombie pig. And, uh, excuse me. Um, and I would, I would love to shoot Ebomi's name into that zombie pig. So there's that. And then next he wanted to know what would be your first prep or what would be the prep that you would want to do most. Excuse me. And for those of you who don't know what a prep is, it's like, say if there's a hurricane, there's a natural disaster, something happens, and you have to get supplies and such and survive for a while. And for that, firstly, I would want enough cans of food for three people for a week, which I do want to work on soon. And then enough water for three people for a week, that would be something you would have to get, like, right then. So you would get the containers now, and then you would fill them later. Um, and then enough gas to go 100 miles, because you never know, you might have to leave. So it's good to have some gas lying around. And then blankets. Blankets are highly, 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 highly important. Um, I always keep a blanket in my car at all times. You never know when you're going to break down at the side of the road. And it's going to be cold. It gets cold here in Wisconsin, so we need blankets. <laughs> uh, first aid kit. I need to get one of these and keep it in my car. Uh, a weapon to kick back the government in case they come knocking at my door. Or if they just try to take it from me. Just, you know, you're not going to have it. <laughs> and, then, and I hope that gun is this gun that is in the giveaway, because that would make me so happy. Um, and then ammo, lots and lots and lots of ammo. And then hunting and fishing tools, because you never know how long you're going to have to be out there, you know? And then just general tools. I mean, you never know what's going to break down when you're going to have to fix it. And then lastly, just books. Books on survival, books on first aid, books on just how to do things that you don't know how to do. because you're not going to magically know just how to survive when something falls apart. So I think books are highly, highly important because you never know, the internet might not work. 
You might not have power to power your computer to look at some junk you have on there. So you're going to need books or at least printed out stuff. So that's very important. And then the last thing he wanted was he wanted um, to know what I'm doing and what I could do to support the Second Amendment. Now I think that the Second Amendment is probably the most important right in that whole thing. Because yeah, there's junk about, oh well if you don't like the government you can get rid of the government, but without a way to do that, we're pretty much helpless. Like you look at England, they got all their guns taken away. So now, if their government's junk, they can't do anything to rise up. So I think the Second Amendment is very, very important. I would like to join a gun club. I would like to go shooting. And I have been going shooting a lot lately. Um, I like to praise guns. I like to... I think everyone should go shooting. I think everyone should have a gun. I think even if you don't want a gun, you shouldn't be all like, oh, guns are bad, they kill people. No, they don't. People kill people. Idiots kill people. Okay? Guns are just... A lot less people would die if more people had guns. Okay? It's just a fact. And lastly, uh, nobody's taking my guns away. Um, if somebody comes to my door and tries to take my guns away, they're getting a barrel in my face, because I don't own any guns but no one's taking him away when I do get him. So thank you very much, Ubomi, for this amazing opportunity for this giveaway.